Hi, my name is Richard Matthew. I'm the director of the Blum Center for Poverty Alleviation at the University of California, Irvine. The Blum Center serves as a platform harnessing the passion, ingenuity, and knowledge of students, faculty, and staff at UCI around understanding and addressing the complex challenges of poverty and inequality in the 21st century. I'm delighted to have one of our senior scientists here to share his story about co-developing models to manage flood risk in La Paz, Mexico. My name is Jochen Schubert and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at UC Irvine in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. My work focuses on the application of geographic information and remote sensing technologies um, for the improvement of mapping and communication of flood hazard. In the research group I work in, we build computer models um, that allow to simulate the dynamics of flooding at uh, levels of individual streets and homes. Flooding is the most destructive natural hazard. It affects over 100 million people uh, globally a year and uh, it produces 50 to 60 billion dollars worth of damage. Even without considering climate change, the risk of flooding is going to increase over time because of population growth and development of coastal lowlands as well as uh, floodplains. From our research we find that we need very high quality geospatial data to attain prediction accuracies of 80% or better. So we need good quality terrain elevations, urban infrastructure information as well as land cover data. So drones can map terrain elevations at resolutions of half a foot or, or better, which means that the data that these the devices can gather can be used to detect natural and man-made elevations to very high resolution and it can be used for very high accurate simulations of flood hazard. Recently we've started engaging with NGOs and community groups in the Mexican coastal city of La Paz. Uh, La Paz is a rapidly growing city in terms of infrastructure and, and population. Uh, parts of the city are vulnerable to flooding from the coast as well as from inland flooding during very intense rainfall events. So as the city expands, uh, whole housing communities are being developed in areas that are likely going to flood in the future. So we would like to test how um, drones um, and a community participation approach can be implemented to fl do flood hazard mapping in, in the city. Right now we, are, we need resources to set up a fleet of drones. Because these are uh, low-cost consumer-grade drones, they're not designed to fly large areas. And so we are looking for several drones that can be strategically placed throughout communities at risk of flooding, mapping different parts of the city one square kilometer at a time. Here at UC Irvine, we've been studying local flood hazard uh, modeling for, for many years, and so we've developed a very unique skill set that we now would like to apply uh, in the field to communities who can currently not afford to do this type of flood hazard mapping to uh, reduce their, their losses, their damages, and ultimately to improve resilience to flooding. Uh, currently and, and under a changing climate.